Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will solve this example which says to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of this beam, right? We have different forces acting on the beam. The reaction forces are given, length of the beam is given. We will calculate the shear forces. We will calculate the bending moment and then we will draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. Now in this beam, we have three forces are acting downward 8 kN, 6 kN, and 4 kN. Two reaction forces 10 kN is acting upward and 8 kN is also acting up. And the distance of the beam is 8 meter, 2 meter here, 2 here, 2 here, and 2 here. Now we will find the shear forces in different sections of the beam. We will find the shear force here at this section. It's this section 2, number 3, and here number 4. In all these four sections, we will find the shear forces. As we explained in the previous video, that shear forces at any section is the sum of forces, external forces acting on either side of that section. So let's let us find shear force at section 1. Right? So shear force at section 1 is all forces we will take on the left side of the section. So for all sections we will take left side. How many forces are acting on the left side of section 1? Only one which is 10 kN. So shear force section 1 is 10 kN. Now we will see section 2. Shear forces at section 2 is all forces on the left side of this. So we have 10 kN acting upward, so positive. This 8 kN acting downward, minus 8. So it will give me what? Eight, 10 minus 8, 2 kN. Shear force at section 3, similarly we have to find shear force at section 3 is 10 minus 8 and again minus 6. We have minus 6 also. So 10 minus 8 minus 6 will give me minus 4. Minus 4 kN. Shear force at section 4. Is again we will start from here. Because we are taking all forces on the left side of the section. So 10 minus 8 minus 6. And then we have minus 4 kN also acting downward. So the total shear force on section 4 is minus 8 kN. And exactly let's say at this point or beyond this point, it will be, we will then consider the 8 kN also. We are usually not finding at this point, but even if you are finding, so shear force at exactly at that support will be shear force 5, so 10 minus 8 minus 6 minus 4 and then plus 8. So this is equal to minus 8 and even once you add plus 8, so it will become 0. So that's why usually we, we put it in the shear force diagram 0 there because we add this 8 kN to the shear force. So this is all the shear force is here, here, here and here. Now what I will do, I will draw the shear force diagram first. The shear force diagram, how I will do? Look, as I told you on the y-axis we will have the shear force magnitude and on the x-axis we have the length of the beam. So at this section, from this point to this point, how much is the shear force? 10 kN, yes. So we have, let's say this is 10, I will write 10 kN here. So I will go from here straight up and it is acting till this point. Right? So in this whole region there is 10 kN shear. Then from this point to this point, how much is the shear force? 2 kN we have found here. So now I will go straight to 2, let's say this is 2. And this 2 kN is still this next point here. 
Now this is 2 kN. Again in region 3, here how much is the shear force? Minus 4 kN. So I will go straight to minus 4. Let's say this is minus 4. And this minus 4 is acting till this point. We have 4 kN force in it. So let's say this is minus 4 kN. Then in the last region, which is section 4, what is the shear force? Minus 8 kN. So I will go to minus 8 here. Let's say this is minus 8. Minus 4 and then this is minus 8 kN. And this minus 8 is acting till this point. But here I know we have this 8 kN. So when you add minus 8 plus 8, it becomes 0. So we go straight to 0. So here what we have? We have 10 kN. In this region, we have 2 kN here in this region, minus 4 kN and minus 8 kN. This is how we draw the shear force diagram. The shear force diagram for this two. Now what we will do? We will find the bending moment. So bending moment we will find at this point. We are finding bending moment let's say at 6, 1 where the force is acting because there are chances that here we will have maximum bending moment. The force is also one force is acting here at point 2 here 6 kN and at 3 4 kN is acting. So we will find the bending moment at 1 2 and 3 and we know that at support it is 0. So now I will find bending moment here. Let's say bending moment at point 1. Point 1 for bending moment is this point 1, right? This is 1 for bending moment, this is 2 and this is 3 for bending moment. Now bending moment at point 1, we know that bending moment at any section, at any point is the sum of all the moment on either side of that section or that point due to external force. Now here what are the external forces on the left side? 10 kN. So what will be the moment of 10 kN about this point 1? 10 times 2. So it will be 20. So 10 times 2 because the distance from here to here is 2 meter which is 20 kN meter. Now we will find at point 2 here. So bending moment at point 2 is this 10 times the distance. Now it will not be 2 because we are measuring from here this point. So 10 times this total distance which is 4 meter. And then 8 kN is acting downward. So minus 8 times the distance which is 2 meter here now. And that's it. So this will be the bending moment. If you do this calculation, so it is 10 times 4 is 40, minus 8 times 2 is 16, 40 minus 16 is 24 kilonewton meter. Now we will find the bending moment at point 3 here. So at point 3, bending moment 3 is again 10 times the distance. Now 10, the distance from 10 to 3 is 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6. Minus 8, so from 8 to 3 is 2 plus 2, 4. So minus 8 times 4 and minus 6 times 2 because this 6, the distance for the 6 is 2 meter. And that's it, it will be, this one I have calculated. So 10 times 6 minus, 10 times 6 is 60, minus 8 times 4, 32, minus 6 times 2 is 12. So this total is 16 kN. So I will write 16 kN meter as it is moving. Right? So this is the bending moment at point 1, right? 20 kN. Here you see 24 kN at point 2, 
and 16 kilo newton at point 0.3 now the next step is to draw the bending moment diagram it is easy as I told you we have the bending moment diagram here right so let me draw how I will draw we have the length of the beam here at this point we have the bending moment here it is 0 and here it will be 0 these are the support so at point 1 which is here this I will write point 1 here this is point 2 this is point 3 now at point 1 how much is the bending moment 20 kN so if, let's suppose if this is 20 so from here I will go straight to 20 this is 20 then I have 24 at point 2 I have 24 so from 1 to 2 I will be go to 24 let's say this is 24 this is 24 why I am increasing it because the bending moment increase the distance increases that's why it is going up then at point 3 I have 16 so 16 will be somewhere here so I will go from here to 16 straight down and at the end I know it is 0 so I will go to 0 so here I have 20 kilo Newton meter 24 kilo Newton meter and 16 kilo Newton meter this is how we draw the bending moment diagram we can just we'll share it here right so where is the maximum bending moment at 24 at this point right and we are the the shear force diagram crosses the zero line so this point and this point is at the same distance I draw a little bit here but it is here you see it should be this point and then from here it will go to 16 so at this point you see here the shear force is 0 and if you look here we will have maximum bending moment here so wherever the shear force is diagram line cut the zero line that point will be having the maximum bending moment and that we usually we will solve more problem and when we are covering the bending stresses we are interested in the maximum bending moment point so we are interested in this point where the maximum bending moment will occur and how much will be the maximum bending moment as in this case we can say that the maximum bending moment occur at a distance of 2 plus 2 4 meter from the left side and that the magnitude of that maximum bending moment is 24 kilo newton meter so this is how we draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this peak so that's it in the next video we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for a uniformly distributed load now these were points load next video we will draw for uniformly distributed load right so next video will be for uniformly distributed load and if you don't know the concept of shear force and bending moment i have put a video and the link is in the description watch that video which will clear the concept uh, your concept about the shear force and bending moment so that's it for this video see you in the next video